So we are underway here at Nethermore. The National League North campaign starts here for the Lions. The AFC filed in possession. In the ball down this left-hand side, cleared away by Hamza Ben Sharif. His clearance is met by the head of Alex Whitmore, and that is in turn turned away. Filed trying to close down in numbers early on, though, in this game. Looking to make a real statement of intent. One of the sides fancied for the National League North title. Unsurprising and a bit of a shock, really, that they were relegated to the National League North two seasons ago. Clears it up down this channel. Now Sampson, though, with an opportunity across the face of the 18-yard box. Shot comes in, blocked well by Hamza Ben Sharif. Phyllis Kirk again for foul. Out to that right-hand side. Lovely touch there from Luke Burt. Puts a really good ball in towards the near post. And filed for all of Geisley's pressure. Have broken the deadlock here at Nethermore Park. The cross from the right-hand side was met at the back post. And the Lions fall behind inside 10 minutes, sadly. It is Geisley nil, AFC filed one. The goal kick taken by Chris Neal, 35-year-old goalkeeper. A few hundred league appearances, likes of Port Vale and Bury, Fleetwood and Salford. Geisley coming again, though, and the shot comes in from Jacob Grattan, forced a good save from distance. From the AFC final goalkeeper, Jacob Grattan, first real opportunity he's had. To Instead, he plays it short to Hutchinson. Hutchinson goes for the back post cross. Opportunity comes in, oh. wide by Grattan. He's looking lively, the youngster from unknown from Rotherham. I think Hamza's is always a threat, isn't he? Nicholson with this one. Up towards back post again, Hamza was there. The goalkeeper comes and punches. The ball goes back into the mixer, and the referee gives the penalty. Jacob Grattan's ball back into the box, strikes an arm along the way, and the referee, no hesitation in pointing to the penalty spot. Dulis runs up, right footed, yeah. bottom corner, opens his account for the season. On 22 minutes, Geisley back in this game, one apiece. That was, that was a very confident penalty with the goal, goalkeeper going the wrong way. Drilled. Kind of head height, cleared away. Not fully dealt with though by guys, as the ball is recycled by FC Fired out on that right hand side. Low cross comes in, straight through into the hands of uh, the young goalkeeper, Jordan Amissa. Now Sampson, out to Tollett on this left hand side. Finds the run of Conlon. Conlon wasn't being closely attended to. And Tollett goes for goal, always going on with the crossbar, never really troubling the young guys, the goalkeeper. Out of that. Zemissa does send it downfield. Referee does check his watch, but allows Whitmore to clear this ball away in towards the path of Sampson, hooked away by Hamza Ben Sharif. And there is the half-time whistle here at Nethermore, where it is a half-time scoreline of Geisley 1, AFC filed 1. by Regan Hutchinson, who's done really well. Plays the 1-2 with George Cantrell. Returns it with a 3-4. Now Cantrell pulls it back to Thewlis. Thewlis with the low opportunity. Earns guys with a corner kick two minutes into the second half. He took the wrong option entirely. I didn't, Grattan was in great space for the reverse ball there. It was Malik Polo. Can he find the right option? Into the feet of Felix. Felix turns, finds Nicholson. He's got Grattan for help. Instead, he looks to cross the ball in. Not a bad ball, just nobody there. Three man wall. Plenty of yellow shirts in that guy's penalty area. Free kick is woefully wasted by the visitors. Over the top of the crossbar, out and behind into the car park on the edge of the penalty area. It's going to be Nicholson. It is Nicholson. It's through the wall. It's all the way through. And made Chris Neal do a bit of work there, to be fair. Has to clear his lines quickly. 
Now Horton out to the left hand side with Tollett up against. Oh. And Becker who's turned inside, showed inside of the ball, deflects into the back of the net. Fire a touch off Hamza Ben Sharif, I think it was. And sadly for the Lions, 58 minutes gone, they trail now by Geisley 1, AFC Final 2. Well, that was obviously a very unlucky deflection there. Um, it's certainly not working with Kane against the two big centre backs at the moment. If you put someone like Jake Day in there to try and mix things up, perhaps it could. When it comes soon enough, though, as Fylde look to get an opportunity, the shot comes in from Osborne. And does well, wins it. Looks to find Fulis. Bono just stumbles and Phyllis Kirk turns away with the ball for AFC Fylde, then goes down that left hand channel. It's a decent run from Tollett. Tollett goes down. The referee's always giving that. No! He's always giving that, sadly. The penalty it is to AFC Fylde. 63 gone. 10. I think it may well be. It is Horton, and he puts it to the same position that Fulis did. That bottom right hand corner. And AFC Fylde now have a 3 1 lead here at Nenemore Park. Chris Neal now rolls the ball at his feet. I think I can see. Is that Jake Day warming up as well? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's Adam Hoare and Bailey Thompson, uh, I believe, who's yeah. filed though, looks to come forward. Ben Tollett. Again, with the step over, he looks to get the shot off towards that post. It's going to come to Phyllis Kirk. That looked like it struck an arm, and the referee is giving a penalty. And this is the first one out of the three in this game that, for me, is the most conclusive. That seemed to be, it struck an arm, but it was, a, perhaps you could say it's harsh, because it was defenders starting to block the shot. Getting away from the Lions. Horton, again with the penalty spark, goes the same way, and Mr. reads it, but can't quite get there. And look at that, in the space of, what, 10 minutes? I think maybe slightly more, we've gone from one apiece to 4-1 to AFC Fylde. And that's been the second half of Fylde, they've, they've just had those opportunities, and that little bit of luck is an optimistic strike comes in from Horton, who was dipping, but over the top of the crossbar. Okay, wayward ball. Although well, Hamza and Trifu is able to get on the end of it. Looks to link up into the penalty area. Here is Hamza Ben Sharif. Can he get himself a goal? He can! Hamza Ben Sharif makes it 4 2. Or 2 4. I don't know how you look at the score. He's got a consolation for the Lions. A lovely give and go move from start to finish on this left wing. It, it was a beautiful little move, very incisive. And I don't think I've ever seen Hamza score from open play before. That goal that we've scored so far. Corner comes in. Decent one up towards that post. And Becker is there. It goes behind for another one. But the referee isn't going to give that. Instead, he blows for full time as the two management teams go across that far side and shake hands. The full time score, Geisley 2, AFC filed 4.